Welcome back to Grand Prix 2, everybody. The earliest stream ever. And uh, welcome, welcome, everybody. Hello, chat. How are you doing? Oh, yes, it's the earliest stream ever. It's like 1 o'clock p.m. here in Finland, so if you're watching it from the western part of the world, it's ridiculously early, but we'll, we'll just have to deal with that. Uh, hopefully you're all in, in Corona quarantine, so <laughs> yeah, uh, let's not talk about that. Let's check out the championship table here. Uh, Michael Schumacher in the lead, one race win away from Damon Hill, Coulthard, Friedrich Bang currently fourth, ahead both of the Ferraris, which is, which is brilliant. It's lunchtime Bang indeed. Yeah, I thought it would be kind of fun to do this in the afternoon. Uh, so, uh, at least I'm not as tired as I'm usually, uh, as I usually am during this stream. So hopefully that will give us a better performance. Uh, yeah, we're fighting against the Ferraris here. Uh, let's check out the Constructors Championship. We're very close. We're uh, four points away from the Ferrari and uh, and and yeah uh, it's it's close we're creeping creeping behind them but next race of course it's going to be Monza the temple of speed and unfortunately uh, as you might know our engine is not the greatest we're using of course GP2 edit to make the engine power team dependent so uh, we are having the realistic amount of horsepower in our heart engine and uh, that that's a problem in Monza the temple of speed it's the wrong kind of temple for 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 us unfortunately uh, it's difficult to say what's going to happen I'm kind of expecting this to be a similar is uh, race to what we had in Germany uh, where we finished fifth but that was only because both the Ferraris blew up and I'm not uh, of course I'm not hoping that the Ferraris will blow up at their home Grand Prix but <clears throat> hopefully they'll blow up oh yes here we go Zainalesi currently on the provisional pole position. Uh, it's it's very difficult to uh, tell what's going to happen because of the random variables in the game. You never know what your pace will be. You know, you never know what the pace of your competitors will be. Uh, Banks' preferred temple would be the temple of slowness. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see it. Oh, it's already halfway through the qualifying session. Here we go! Yeah, let's check out the car setup. And I'm having my mouse once again on my arm rest, so let's not drop it. This is the wrong setup. We don't want this. Uh, here we go. Ted Mead. There we go. A very basic Monza setup. Very low on aero and long gears. And this is all the rest that's happening here. Yeah, hunger ring is for bang. And also, you know, the last four tracks I think will be good for us. Uh, I think the AI usually struggles in, in long sweeping aero corners. So uh, the, that kind, of, those kind of tracks like like uh, Suzuka should be good for us. And what else are there? Jerez is Estoril in the calendar this season. Who knows? I don't remember anymore. Um, let's get rid of some 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 fuel. No Scandinavian flicks. Uh, yeah, that would be preferable. Let's go to the track. Let's get rid of the old keyboard. Uh, tell me is, if the sound levels are alright, if you can hear my voice over the engine sounds and... Oh, Estoril is the next one, okay. 
and if the engine sound is, sound is too low or, or if there's something, anything wrong with it because I had to fiddle with the sound settings. Yeah, Monza is definitely one of my favorite tracks. And it's a track where I've probably turned most laps compared to any other track. For some reason, every time I try a new sim or something, I'll always go to Monza first. So it's familiar, if nothing else. It, it has, of course, changed quite a bit over the years. Like, less mouse today are a lot slower, I think. And... Ascari, one of the most difficult corners on the track. Very difficult to get the line right and, and keep the momentum there. But let me concentrate as we'll do the first flying lap. Here we go. That was all right. That was beautiful. Don't lift. Okay, that was that was a bit wide. We survived. And hit a little bit of curb there. I think this is going to be a beautiful lap. Yeah, that's all right. Provisional pole position. Holy crap! I know I can do better though. I have turned some better laps here. I would prefer starting from the inside to the first corner. But of course if you get pole I I can't complain. Okay, that was that was the end of that lap. But I'm, I'm very surprised, because that time, it, it was a good time, but it's not the kind of time that should be enough for a pole position. So, yeah. I don't know, I, I guess I'll take it. That said, there are random variables in the game that affects uh, both human driver and the AI driver, so it'll be interesting to see where everybody is in the race. Uh, if the Ferraris are off pace and, and our car is fast today, we might be able to challenge them. But I think it will require me to push like crazy in the race. And that's of course very risky if I have to do like qualifying laps. And here we are. Yeah, Alessi very fast. Uh, Schumacher and the Williamses. Where where are the Williamses? I'm sure they will appear at some point. Let's go to the accelerated time. And Alessi goes to the pole position. Damon Hill fifth and Coulthard sixth. That's unbelievable. I I don't understand what's going on there. Usually it's like Williams 
is is completely flying in in Monza. Hmm. Interesting. Well, uh, I don't know. Let's go to the second qualifying session and and see how this will turn out. I think I'll do another lap. Like 20 minutes. Okay, there's Damon Hill. But he's still fifth. And Schumacher, as Taka Harvey says, is surprisingly fast here. Alesi is really flying. To be honest, I, I'm not sure if I want to start from a pole position because going to the first corner from uh, from the outside is is bad. So I, I guess I'm kind of happy with this result. Schumacher can't improve. I don't think anyone is improving anymore. Yeah, <clears throat> second place. I yeah, take the pole. You can do it, says Federico. I honestly, the the second place is much. Hey, wait a minute. Did I just do something very stupid? Because I think I might be still starting from the outside. Is the pole on the inside? I'm not sure anymore. I guess we'll see. I, I, I guess I should have gone for the pole position. Oh, man. Well, whatever. Just a good strategy and that's it. Now, what might the good strategy be? B. There are basically two options, uh, one stop or two. Uh, if we do a three stopper, you lose a lot of time uh, during the pit stops here, even though the pit, uh, pit uh, lane is, is very fast here, but other cars are driving so fast around the track that you lose a lot of distance compared to them. So, Lahustaja says two stops. Okay. Well, that would make us a lot more competitive. Robert also says two st stops. Okay, I will let the chat decide my strategy, and if it fails, then I will blame you. Haha! <laughs> Gives more margin to fix the car. That's a good point. That's a very good point. At least you're not in the midfield. Yeah, it's, it's very bad to be in the midfield in Monza. Yeah. I think, yeah, we'll go with the two stops. Uh, definitely easier to drive. The weight of the car affects very heavily on this, this track because of all the speed and power. <coughs> Four stops. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that would be crazy. I might do an uh, unintentional four stop strategy here. Okay, here's uh, the grid. John Alessi. Uh, I think it's, it's the first pole of the season for him. Then bang, Schumacher, Berger, Hill, Coulthard. I don't understand what's wrong with the Williamses. Uh, Verstappen, Hakkinen, Pani, Alboreto, Katayama, Parikello, Rubens once again, sucks. Uh, Brandl, Frensen, Fittipaldi, Martini, Zanardi, De Cesaris, Blandel, Herbert, Morbidelli, Bernard, Coma, Brabham, Beretta, for sure. So there's the grid. And I guess we're ready to go. Let's just try to survive the first corner and see where it leads us. Actually, I do want to save the game just in case the DOS box crashes because it sometimes happens and I don't want to lose the entire progress. So yeah, we're ready to go. Wish me luck, guys! A little bit of wheel spin. Oh man, what a dive bomb! Pretty bang for the win! Holy crap, we're in the lead, everybody! Heart rate is something like 200. Ok, 
Okay, relax. Okay, that was insane. Oh man! Avoid doing the old understeer to the sands in in Parabolica. The classic mistake you always do here. I I did not expect to be leading. This race DC already seconds. Oh man, on bad understeer. I had a couple of practice races here and I wasn't even close to leading any of, any of them. I'm feeling a bit nervous here. DC is faster, Schumacher is even faster. At the end of the day, I, I, I just don't think we'll have the pace to win the race, but we might be able to get a good result. Still feeling a little bit edgy and nervous. Hopefully that will go away once I'll get into a rhythm. DC half a second faster. Hopefully he won't crash us like he's done a couple of times this season. Yeah, he's he's a lot faster. Yeah, the AI usually tends to do one stop here, so. Even if we are faster than him, uh, even if we... Let's concentrate to the Ascari. Uh, for, for, for Ascari, I mean. Uh, yeah, even if we'd be faster than the AI, the reality is that they are pitting only once. I don't know if I should fight against Cool's heart too hard here because I don't think I'm going to be able to keep him at bay and we'll just end up losing 
a lot of time if we start fighting. I have to remember, Ferraris are our main rivals. Okay, there he goes. Oh man, I lost a lot of time. Let's see if we can... ...stay in his slipstream, that would help a lot. He could pull us away from the Ferraris behind. Oops! Don't touch the curb. And yeah, he's gone. And now we have to deal with Alesi and his V12 Ferrari. Luckily he seems to be quite slow in, in Parabolica. And there he goes. Okay, he got the better of it. Oh man, stay off the curbs. I made a mistake. Managed to defend. I lost a lot of time. I should really clean clean my driving here and here he goes I don't think I have anything to answer oh man I'm getting destroyed here This is very dangerous. Oh man. That was bad. Simply very bad driving by me. I can't blame the engine too much. The fact is that I made few mistakes there and that cost us dearly. Hard times ahead, indeed. Damon Hill, five seconds behind, so he's having a bad day. Okay, let's just try to do clean laps here. No overdriving. I don't want to overtake here because you just lose so much time going 
into Ascari side by side. I don't want to lose time. And besides, if I overtake them, they will just be in my slipstream and pass back and then we'll once again lose a lot of time while fighting and you know if I could beat one of the Ferraris I'd be very happy That line through the second Lesmo. You lose so much time, you have to live there. Okay. <clears throat> the gap to Damon is uh, quite stab uh, stabile. been a better lap gained on Schumacher a little bit. Starting to get into a rhythm. Always in racing, it's, it's, it's a big problem for me that I'm slow at the beginning of the race. Also the case if I'm racing in eye racing or something, I always and even in dirt rally, if I race there, I'm always very slow. At the opening stages, then, uh, then I start building up speed. This race, it, it goes really fast because the average speed is so high. Well, we're only eight laps. Okay, yellow flags, what's going on? It's one of the Saubers. Doesn't affect us in any ways, but I, I slowed down way too, too much there.
always nervous through Ascari. It's such a tricky corner, and if you, if you get it a little bit wrong, you either lose a lot of time or you crash. I'm driving pretty much as fast as I dare here. Uh, I, I couldn't really push anymore without it being very risky. And we're keeping up with, with, with Schumacher, but nothing more than that. And he might be on a one stop strategy, and he probably is, so. He's running with a heavier car. Well, you never know, but that's my guess. about six laps to our first pit stop. Looks like we're hitting some lap traffic. Looks like a Pacific car or or uh, perhaps it's a the the arrows uh, footwork. And Beretta out of the race. Yellow flags. Uh, uh, that's for Beretta, right? give this arrows any slipstream so he doesn't do anything stupid when going to the first corner. The AI tends to do some interesting dive bombs here sometimes. Okay, I guess Rubens is coming to the pits. Wait a minute, did DC pit? I, I've completely missed it. Uh, we're third now. I 
thought I saw some someone say that the chat the DC was fitting, but somehow I missed it completely. <clears throat> so he is probably on a two stopper. Yes, DC Peter, thanks. Oh man, the car was understeering quite badly there. Okay, they want me uh, want us to pit now, but I think we'll stretch it. Just to make use of the uh, very light car that we have at the moment. And also, hopefully, will keep us a little bit off the traffic if we go a couple of more laps. One more lap. We could potentially go two more laps. Schumacher is surprisingly slow suddenly. I guess we'll beat after this lap. Get some fresh tires. The car feels a little bit skatey. And... Hit those brakes. And here we are. That was a very fast pit entry. And completely legal. No problems whatsoever. Okay, we dropped down to 6th and that was a very slow pit stop. 7th. Oh man. Eight. Yeah, I don't know about this strategy, guys. Is this sober for a position? Oh man. 
car behaves so much so differently now with a larger fuel load. But the grip is definitely better. Come on. I've got a little slipstream here. Thank you. Funny, 2.9 seconds ahead. Okay, then. So, race over, everybody. Race over. Oh, dear. That's it. There we go. Can we see a replay? No, I waited too long. Damn it. Oh, man. <laughs> well, uh, I guess that's it. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, damn. Friedrich is very far away. Yeah, that was a, that was a very big disaster. Oh man. Damn it. <laughs> well, uh we had a good run till that, but Yeah, what a shame. It's it's too bad I waited for too, too long because uh now we can't see the replay, but that was and the worst possible place that would, could like happen in Curva Grande. Uh, yeah, I guess I had a bad set of tires or something. There he goes. Friedrich Bang out of the race. Oh, damn. Simon, we had a puncture right at the Curva Grande. So, the rear tire just blew up, and I went to, uh, to the wall. Nothing I could do. Just right after a pit stop. Yeah, that's a shame. I, I, am, I It just sucks that I missed the replay, because it's, on, it's so damn short. It's, what, like 16 seconds or something. Yeah, this is going to be a disastrous day for uh, Jordan and with the fight against the Ferrari. Now let's see, now, I, now we can see what kind of strategies everyone has. I think Damon is on a one-stopper, Schumacher also a one-stopper, Jean Alesi one-stopper. And he's got a bigger fuel load than anyone else, so he's actually driving with a with a uh, what 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 was, I lost my thought. Sorry about that. Yeah, he's faster than everyone else, even if he has more fuel on board. Damon Hill, what are you doing, man? What? Why? He just messes it up in Ascari. Hmm. And he's out of the race. And I don't think he had any technical difficulties. He just... Well, a good buy championship for Damon, I suppose. All right, this is very entertaining now. Alesi currently completely dominating race. This could be Jean Alesi's first win and Gerhard Berger third.
So if the Ferraris don't blow up, this will be a very, very good race for them. And we just might lose our fight in the in the Constructors Championship against the Ferrari in this particular race. Well, that's a shame, but that's racing, and there's uh, McLaren blowing up. It's Hakkinen and his wonderful Beja engine <coughs> that seems to be leaking some fire now. <coughs> now that's that, that was a was not a very rare sight in 1994. <coughs> he was oops. Oh, I lost him. Uh, he was 16th, so uh, not not a great race for him to be to begin with. Here he goes. Race over for Mika. That's a shame. There he goes. So now I can finally look at the chat, because I don't need to keep myself alive. Schumacher definitely in a strong position here. He might... He will win Damon by six points if, if he finishes second. Real man never cry. That's not true. I have known to cry. I think it was in the 80s. A wonderful, wonderful onboard material here. Oh, it's Mika's quote. I haven't heard that. And here comes Alesi. This might be the first win for Jean Alesi. A very, very exciting race for him. How much is there left? Like, we're not in the halfway point yet. So, I don't know if we're going to watch the entire race. We might, uh, we might do some accelerating of time at some point. Where's DC? DC is here. He's fourth. Currently, so I, I don't think the two-stop strategy is working for him. Do you remember the times when Friedrich Bang was actually leading this race in Monza? Oh, those were so such a good times. Oh, Schumacher made a little mistake, but managed to salvage it. <clears throat> yeah, it's not just a lack of failures in the Codemasters game, but it's just, it, it feels so static. Every race seems to be the same. What's wrong with Morbidelli? His engine blew up. That's a problem. Yeah, Shumi is probably going to take the title, but uh, <clears throat> probably not yet. Of course, there are still four races left, so anything can happen in Formula 1, and it usually does.
burger, doing some lapping there. Now, how cool would it be? Now, I, I, of course, I would like to see us winning the Ferraris in the in points and you know bringing Jordan third in the constructors championship, but it would be very cool to see Alesi win the race at Monza. That that would be. I, I would, I would accept that. Yeah, Dirt Rally 2 is a fantastic game. I, I really enjoy it quite a bit. As Lahustaja knows, we have a very, very uh, tough battle in the Finnish Football Forum Rally League. I think I, I was ahead of Lahustaja in points uh, after the previous race, but uh, in, in the current race he managed to beat me and I think he's going to uh, going to overtake me yeah modern F1 is very static but it's not as static as the f games are and, and I think it goes the wrong way uh, wrong way around the games can be a little bit more dramatic than the real thing not the other way around Yeah, I had uh, in the previous rally. I had a, a very hard time in the last two stages with the Lancia. It just it pushed it pushed like crazy, and I, I I just I was very slow. Made a lot of mistakes. Is this for a position? It might be. See you in the next Grand Prix. Shuma her pitting. <laughs> Burger pitting. And these guys are battling for B12. How much is the processor occupant? Let's see here. It's 30%. Surprisingly high, actually. But yeah, it's of course depending on the uh, what you call it, the the cycles in in DOSBox. I think they're automatic at the moment. Oh, what's happening here? Schumacher, once again having some problems. Alesi completely dominating the race. I'm just expecting the Ferraris to blow up. This guy's still going at it. I think the Codemasters games are, are alright. Uh, they're, they're not bad games, definitely not. But it, it's just, I I never managed to drive an entire career if I, if I drive those games. I always drive like one season and then during the second season I, I get bored. Because it's so repetitive, all the practice sessions that you have to do to develop the car and, and do all that. And you don't want to miss the development. That's that's another thing because of course you want to do well. <laughs> so, like I was running, uh, what was it? F1 2017 with the shorter tr shortest races. I think it was the 25% races, and it took me like two hours to complete a weekend. And most of that time went to the practice sessions and. It's just, I, I don't want to use my time for stuff like that. 
Well, I, I do practice for this game as well, but I do practice by driving real races because it's much more interesting to do, do it like that. And it's the immersion is just not, not enough to kind of pull me in. Wait a minute. No, Alesi was pitting, yeah. I don't think there were any dramatics there. Uh, DC is now in the lead, but he has to pit one more time. Where's Alesi? Yeah, he's still second. Some people like the practice sessions, uh, and I do understand that you can kind of learn to track while developing the car and something like that, but it's just when you do a career with multiple seasons, it's just, it's, for me it's too much. And part of that is that I don't have enough time to play video games, so I don't want to waste it by doing some practice sessions endlessly. Here's tough battle for P15. And now for some re reason we are watching the sim deck of David Brabham. Yeah, I don't think Jordan is getting any points today. Wait a minute, Rupens is 7th, but he still has to beat, so yeah. That's a shame. I think Schumacher will go to the end of the race. DZ in the lead, but as said, he still has to pit. You need to provide Kyllonen commentary for us. Uh, <coughs> well, I don't know where he lives. Someone get me Kyllonen's phone number so he can come and commentate these races, although I don't know if... Well, that would be interesting for the Finnish people, I suppose, but the guys abroad might not get too much out of that. F1 Challenge is a game that I never actually played. I... I, I guess it's kind of a, the predecessor of uh, R factor, right? Here comes Burger with a dive bomb, and the director decided that the dive bomb was not interesting. I have to try the F1 challenge because just just for for the sake of interest and, and how does it drive? That's that's of course an interesting thing. I guess it drives like R factor. R factor. I would suppose. Okay, DC is in the pits. Let's see here. This is important for the win. He's dropped down to third, so...
yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to win it. And here's Alesi, still leading the race. And I think that, you know, it, it would be so cool to see Jean Alesi win, even in this virtual world. His first race for Ferrari at Monza. The AI is something that the Jeff Grammont games did really, really, really well. You, you, it's difficult to kind of appreciate it, but when you play other games from the same era, you really see the difference. It's, it's so... It's, it's so good. It's, it's freaking brilliant. Schumacher seconds would be a great result for him from this race since since they don't have the best engine. Well, it's it's you know in this game I think the Ford engine that Benetton has it's got a decent amount of power but definitely not as much as the Ferrari or Renault. And once again, just as Lahusta was say saying in the chat, the AI makes little mistakes here and there. And that, that, that was one of the good examples. Schumacher making a little mistake. He's been doing those little mistakes all through the race. I guess he's pushing really hard here. Berger third, uh, 10 seconds ahead of Coulthard. This might be a battle. The DC is a lot faster because he's got fresh tires. Yeah, Bang is definitely going for a pizza. He wouldn't enjoy this race. And once again, Schumacher in trouble. He's making awful lot of mistakes. Having problems with his car. Yeah, I think uh, Michigan in IndyCar racing is going to be very bad. The AI is completely impossible to handle there. I think the only hope to survive that race is just to get the pole position and run away. That's, that's the strat. <clears throat> You can, I think you can race against the AI, but you, you just have to learn their behavior by heart. You have to know what they do in each of the corners of the track in different situations. Then you can race them, but you can't race them by just going like 
I will now race a race on this track that I'm not familiar with. It, it, it doesn't work out. See you, Simon. Thanks for watching. I guess this is a kind of a watching the race. Uh, <coughs> is is kind of a good way to avoid spoilers for those who watch this later on YouTube because the video is still ridiculously long. <laughs> Janales is still dominating the race. Come on, Jean. Let's see here. We have... Uh, 15 laps to go. I think we'll accelerate the time a little bit here because nothing too interesting is happening. Hopefully no one retires here while we do this. Okay, and let's return to the race, now that there are only five laps remaining. Schumacher is still second, he is 16 seconds behind Alesi. Berger, Andrea de Cesar is out of the race. <coughs> <coughs> and what's the yellow flag bug? We'll see if DC is able to gain on Berger. He's getting slowed down by Kashaw. <coughs> Pretty badly there. And I'm sure Berger has got quite worn tires. Rubens. Currently at P8, so not too great. Now that I think of it, I never, when I run a full season, I never, I don't actually know if I've ever finished a race in Monza. Maybe in the 90s or something, but lately, like, I, I drove a couple of full seasons with a keyboard before I started this, <coughs> this YouTube thing, and uh, I think I retired both races at Monza because of technical difficulties. So it seems the Mon Monza is, is cursed for me. Oh, Azaris. Also, the same problem for you then. Interesting. Berger still third, I think. Brabham making some errors. He's 19th, French and 9th. Alès is still dominating the race. We're stopping in points. Fifth currently. And Brundle, 11th. Still no points for him. Or did he get some points in Spa? Because everyone was messing, messing up at, at Spa. Burger hitting some traffic. Schumacher still second. Now there are only three laps left. <coughs> if the Ferrari of Jean Alesi will blow up once again, then that... I don't know if that would be super funny or super sad.
I've been talking way too much. My mouth is very dry and I have no water. And Schumacher once again making a mistake. But still, he keeps it together. Damon Hill made only one mistake and retired. And Schumacher has already made like five mistakes. But he's managed to survive. I just only read your comment, Takaharvi. If the AI is beating when yellow comes out, they don't slow down. So that's that's a bug in IndyCar Racing 2 or IndyCar Racing 1 or in both. That's a very bad bug. Can you run through positions 1 to 6? So sorry, there's a little delay in the chat. Uh, so Alesi in the lead, Schumacher seconds, he is 20 seconds behind. Berger actually is closing, but he, the race will end before he, he can close. DC fourth. Also too far from Berger. Verstappen fifth and Oliver Pani sixth. Once again, Ligiers with the Renault engine is getting unlapped by Martini. Ligiers with the Renault engine are doing very well. Ralonza, yeah, I got a DNF. Uh, I got a puncture in the middle of Curva Grande. That was... Uh, it's a shame that we didn't get the replay, but it, it was a very, very dramatic thing. Just snap, and the tire blew up, and I was in the wall. In the fastest corner of the track, of course. Where else? So, no hope. <coughs> in, in real life, that would have been... A giant accident. So yeah, that's actually the second DNF in a row. In Spa it was my own fault, but here it was the puncture. And that was right after my pit stop as well, which is kind of ironic. Well, that's racing, you know. Shit sometimes happens. Let's me see here. Where's Alesi? Oh, he finished the race. He won. Hooray. Haha. <laughs> I didn't realize it was already the fi uh, final lap. But yeah, a race won by Jean Alesi. Jean Alesi wins in Monza for Ferrari. That is beautiful. A deserved win for him. He ha he was uh, he had a superior pace all through the race, throughout the uh, throughout the weekend. To be frank, the crowd goes wild and the flagmen go wild and everybody goes wild. Schumacher second, Berger third. So a, an amazing weekend for Ferrari, and I think that might do it. We, <coughs> we, um, I, I don't think Jordan can no longer win Ferrari in the Constructors' Championship. That's a shame, but they just had a fantastic weekend here. DC is fourth, and Verstappen fifth, and Oliver Panis to the sugared flag in P6. 
and race over. Wonderful. Well, not to, not so wonderful, but mm, what can you do? Alessi, Schumacher, Berger, Coulthard, Verstappen, Pani, the guys who get points, and everyone else is a lap down. <clears throat> so yeah. Here we are. Some retirements, the Cesaris transmission, Morbidelli hacking an engine. Damon Hill crashed on his own. Bang had a puncture and Oliver Peretta suspension. So there are the retirements. Let's check out the lap times. Friedrich Bang, fifth fastest lap. So yeah. I guess the pace was there, but Damon Hill, he was very slow all through the, throughout the weekend, and then he crashed, so I don't think, it, it doesn't seem that the 1994 Damon Hill is a worthy champion, unfortunately. <clears throat> and let's see here, driver's championship table, Jean Allegi goes past Friedrich Bang in points, now has 28 points. I still, I, I think we can beat him if he, we have a good uh, rest of the season because the ne next four tracks I think are not too great for Ferrari. And we're qu qu currently tied in points with Gerhard Berger, but we are ahead of him because we have one win, and I don't think Berger has won any races this season. Now Schumacher uh, increases his lead. And DC, because of his reasonably good result, is now breathing down the neck of his teammates. Only one point behind Damon Hill. Hill had has had a couple of retirements in a row here, so uh, so he's having a very bad slump here. There we go. And Constructors Championship table and Ferrari just jumps up to 50 points and are now 18 points ahead of Jordan. So I don't think we can fight for the top three position anymore unless uh, the Ferraris start blowing up in every single race. Uh, McLaren having a very bad season. And uh, yeah, Ligier sixth. They are surprisingly high in, in order. Fourth in the championship would, would be good in Jordan. Yeah, that that would be the best possible result I, I could imagine. Even if I would drive a flawless season, I, I think I, I, I would never be able to fight against the Williams season, Schumacher, with a Jordan. Uh, let's uh, check out the future. It's Jerez next. Uh, and then, wait a minute. Portugal, Jerez. Is, is that Jerez? Europe. What's the European Grand Prix? I don't remember anymore. Japan, Australia. All four tracks should suit Jordan pretty well. So we might be able to get some good results. Friedrich Bang currently won two, three, four retirements this season. Uh, Barrichello only one retirement so far. Europe is Jerez. And Estoril is the European Grand Prix, right? Okay. That's that's cool. Uh yeah. So let's see here. We've Jordan has been very, very consistent. In, in getting points. In Brazil we didn't get any points, but in Pacific Grand Prix, Friedrich Bang finished fifth in San Marino, Barrichello was fifth in Monaco, Bang was third uh, in uh, Spain, Barrichello was sixth in Canada and France, Barrichello was the one who got the points in Great Britain, Bo both drivers got points in Germany, Bang was fifth in Hungary, Bang of course won, and then 
Barrichello was fifth, so only two races for Jordan this season, Italy and Brazil, where we haven't uh, ha haven't been scoring any points. So uh, very very consistent stuff there. So yeah. Anyway, I think it's time to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, everybody. I know this has been a bit weird time for for a stream, but since some some of you definitely are in in quarantine at the moment, and and I happen to have some free time in the middle of the day. I thought, what, why the hell not? And it was a nice race until the puncture and death. But yeah, see you in the next Grand Prix. The next race on this channel, of course, will probably be the race in IndyCar racing. And uh, I don't remember if that's... It's Phoenix, right? Taka Harvey is my uh, I, I lost the word expert of, of the races yeah thanks everyone for, for watching and, and participating in the, the chat and, and, and also uh, we hit 500 subscribers at some point last week so that was very cool so thank you for subscribing I suppose See you later, guys. Bye-bye.